In this video, I will show how to create the Snowflake connection in ICS and how to load the records from Oracle to Snowflake tables. So let's go to your administrator. Click on connections. I have already created a connection. Click on this uh, snowflake connection which I have already created. Let's see the properties. You can see you need a connection name, then uh, type as snowflake, then runtime, authentication as standard, then you have to provide the username of the snowflake connection, then password, then account then warehouse then a role account admin then uh, in additional jdbc url parameter you, can, you need to mention the db name and schema name go to snowflake as you can see here this role you can uh, find the role here in uh, this account admin then uh, warehouse compute dot compute underscore double h you can see here compute underscore double h and this is the role those two you got it from here then uh, this is the uh, this is the db name rkm underscore db and uh, this public is the schema let's click on here go to admin then go to accounts you can see here the account name click on uh, this option maximize this uh, as you can see here after this https colon slash slash whatever is there after this and before dot snowflake computing that is the account name you can see here this is 81775 you can see here this is the account in this way you can get the account uh, name and uh, you can create the connection go to EICS I have created a snowflake folder I'll create a mapping now click on new mapping create then go to snowflake Click on source, select the source connection, I will select uh, connection Nora Scott, now select the table name, I will select the DUPT table, go to fields, so these are the fields, DUPT number, DU name and location. Now create a target or select the target but this time I will uh, create the target table during round time. So these are the incoming fields. Now go to target. Select the connection as snowflake. Now click on object. I'll create um, uh, a new table at round time. And KVT DUPT and here path. I'll have to mention the DB name and the schema name. RKM underscore DB slash public. So these are the target fields. can see here fields will be mapped automatically as you have chosen to create a new target object when you run the mapping task so it's already mapped now I'll save it now run 
the mapping. Starting. Now the mapping is running. The mapping has completed. Click on the instance name, and you can see in the source four records are there. Uh, in the Snowflake or two GTD table, four records have been loaded. Let's go to Snowflake. Let's go to SQL worksheet. Click on this DB name, then uh, schema name. Click on tables. You can see two GTD has been created. You can see four records. Let's truncate. Let's truncate the table. It has been truncated. Come to the mapping. So next time, what we will do? We will. Um, the table has been already created. We'll uh, select the table. Click on truncate table, the target fields. So these are the fields. Tool mapping. GTD PT should be there. Let's see why it is not showing. Refresh it, that's why it's not visible. You can select here TGTDEPT. So, target fields, you can see three fields are there. Go to field mapping, then uh, let's see map it. Save it. Records are there as we have already truncated the table. And here in this um, mapping, we have mapped the fields. Now run the job. Let's see. 
that's why we wait for a few seconds the membrane is running now succeeded click on the instance you can see four records loaded go to snowflake select star from the table as you can see four records have been loaded into the snowflake table so in this way you can create a snowflake connection in informatica cloud and uh, load the records into snowflake tables thank you